seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have me, sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. today with another video this one I'm going to be talking about Lush's new discontinued list here in Australia what they've discontinued what I think about it and what I'm gonna miss and what I think you should run out and stock up on right now and why so are you ready are you ready Rocksteady <gasps> let's go <laughs> Thank you to everybody who's been watching the channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, I know there's some changes going on and new stuff coming on, but thank you for sticking with it. I really appreciate all of you guys who have subscribed, who've been watching, who like my videos, hit me with a like, and those people who are commenting. I really appreciate it, and thank you so much. All right, so, oh my gosh, how long is the discontinued list this time? I'd have to say, in the history of when I've been purchasing Lush, this is the biggest, longest discontinued list ever, 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 ever. Uh, because there's like almost 60 products, which is cray cray. And on the downside, that's a lot of people's faves and a lot of products that are going, I'm like, oh, with some of them, honestly. <laughs> But on the upside, hopefully that means we're gonna get lots of new products. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, hopefully, hopefully. So I'm gonna go through some of the discontinues today and what I think about them going and why. Um, so I'm gonna start with the shower gels because I am a massive shower person. I love showers, you know, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> Gotta bathe. I'm a big shower gel fan and some of my favorite ones are going, so I'm very fan. So, um, so let's start. So at the top of the list is the beautiful shower gel. And this one I know isn't everybody's fave, but it's actually one of my faves because, I don't know if you know this, it has the 1000 Kisses Deep fragrance in it, which is a really old, lush fragrance, back from Be Never Day. So it's really, really old. Um, and so I love it for that. And also because it's really unusual, because it's got things like myrrh in there, which are very unusual kind of scents. So I actually really like Beautiful. And then the next one that I'm really sad about is The Comforter. Now again, this is one of my faves. At least we're going to still have the bubble bar in the fragrance, but um, I am disappointed they're getting rid of the shower gel because it's one of my faves. I love sweet sweet smells so I'm really sad about that one and then the other shower product I'm really sad about is this one <gasps> so I actually went out and bought this uh, uh, this week I would have bought all of them but I just couldn't afford to buy all of them so I prioritized this one <laughs> Because at the moment, just this very moment in time, this is my fave. Because I love the kind of chocolatey smell. It's like chocolate, orange orange chocolate kind of a smell. It's really yum. If you like kind of food smells, you'll like Yuzu and Coco. Um, but this one is going soon. So I would recommend if you love any of those or any of the other ones going, go out and grab them now. So some of the other ones that are going are the Don't Rain On My Parade Shower Gel, the Wash That Man Out Of My Hair Shower Gel, the 93,000 Miles Shower Jelly, and the Needles and Pines Shower Jelly, and also the Refresher Shower Jelly, and I was surprised about that one because that one is kind of like a regular one that's been there for quite a while now. So, you know, with the shower jellies, it's like Survivor now. It's like Whoosh is Survivor, you know, the winner of Survivor because it's been around the longest of any of them. So go Whoosh. Um, I love me a bit of Whoosh and um, I'm actually really relieved that Whoosh is staying. I especially like it kind of on days when I'm trying to wake up. I find it a really good uplifting kind of fragrance to help me wake up. It's the blue shower jelly. So that one is staying. The African Paradise Body Conditioner is going. I'm not so surprised because it doesn't have a really strong smell. Um, and so sometimes that's when things get lost. <laughs> but one I am actually really happy to see go is Sugar Scrub. So Sugar Scrub, I'm glad it's gone because it's just been around for too long. Even when I used to work for Lush, which was years ago, Sugar Scrub was just nobody's favorite. We tried to get people to buy it. Nobody wanted to buy it. I don't know why it's still there. So I'm actually really glad that Sugar Scrub's gone and Scrubby has come in because it's a very good trade, trust me. <laughs> 
I would take scrubby over sugar scrub any day because sugar scrub is really hard and so it's really hard to work with. So the problem is you kind of wet it to get it going um, and even then you know, you've got to really start working on it otherwise you're going to scratch yourself when you use it. It's really, really super scratchy um, versus scrubby which is just perfect to use straight up. So I love me the scrubby. I'm happy to do that trade. <laughs> We've lost the Dreamwash Roulade and we've lost the Turkish Roulade, which again, I'm not really surprised about because um, the Roulades are a good idea in theory, but because they're so smushy, they just don't really work as a naked product if you ask me. I think they do need to be in a tub when they're that consistency. Um, back when I used to work for Lush, they had Turkish Delight in a um, pot, which is much easier, you know, it was much easier to use. And it used to sell well in a pot because you'd sell that with the um, Rose Argan body conditioner. So they were a good kind of couple of things people would like because they match, you know. Whereas now the roulade is a bit, you know. <laughs> so I can kind of understand why the Turkish Delight roulade is going, but I am disappointed if it doesn't come back in a tub. So we'll just see if it comes back in a tub. Uh, a couple of soaps are going layer cake and Miranda. Now layer cake came a bit, but Miranda, I'm really sad about Miranda going because I actually love Miranda. It's one of those really underrated soaps. If you can go out and grab some now, I'd recommend it because it's very fruity smelling. It's got a nice smell, but not too strong, but also it's actually quite creamy, um, which people don't realize. I've actually known people who've had quite sensitive skin being able to use Miranda. So um, I don't know, I can't guarantee that for everybody, but you know, obviously, but Miranda is a beautiful smelling, nice on the skin kind of soap. So I'm gonna be sad to see that go. So. Okay, now we get to the what the hell were they thinking section. So this is the bath section, right. So Blackberry Bath Bomb's going. This is one of the oldest bath bombs that Lush have had. And I am super duper surprised they're getting rid of it. It might not be one of the faves, but it's kind of like old school, old school Lush. So Blackberry Bath Bomb's going, which is old school. Tisty Tosty, which is going, um, which is very old school as well. Like one of the original, original, original Lush bath bombs. I think both of these are going because we've got so many like bells and whistles and amazing things coming out now with bath bombs that people are bored when they get things like Tisty Tosty and Blackberry. So I kind of get why they're going, but sentimentally it's sad, you know, because they've been around for a long time. And I know a lot of people are gonna be really upset about this and I know they are already upset, Yoga Bomb is going, which is a real surprise because it's been a lot of people's faves. And when it first got announced this was going, I heard it's going because Lava Lamp's coming. But now Lava Lamp is discontinued as well. So like, what the? So Lava Lamp, we only just got Lava Lamp here in Australia and now it's going again. I think it's because people were complaining about the purple staining their bath. So that could be why and it doesn't have a really strong smell. I actually like Lava Lamp. I think it's pretty cool, the way the oil moves and the contrast of the orange and the purple. I actually really like it, but I don't know, it's going. Razzle Dazzle bath oil is going as well. I think maybe for the same reason, because there were some complaints about Razzle Dazzle staining people back in the day. That was the first version though. I haven't heard of any complaints since they kind of reformulated and less pinked it a bit. Uh, but yeah, so Razzle Dazzle is going as well. Another big surprise for me was the Pink Flamingo because it's just super cool. I don't know, I think though reusable bubble baths, people find them a little bit hard sometimes to work out how to use them. So that could be why. Sea Monster Fun is going, which is sad. Frozen Bath Bomb's going. That's another shock, really big shock. I'm really surprised that one's going. Big Bang Bubble Bar and Pop in the Bath. Not so surprised those two are going. They are pretty, but again, maybe not top of the pops, but it'll be interesting to see what comes in to replace them. I mean, they're bringing in the Karma Bubble Bar, which looks ridiculously good, but we already have got that fragrance. So we've already got a Karma Bubble Bar, it just looks different. So I don't know whether they'll bring in a couple of other bubble bars to replace Pop in the Bath and Big Bang. So we'll have to just wait and see about that one. And then one of the ones I'm sad about too is, oh, Yuzu and Coco Bubble Rune. So I love this one again. Look, <laughs> there's a thing going here. This is what I bought yesterday. 
I actually really like these. When they first bought the bubble runes out, they were a bit daggy and we had to put them together in store. I think they still have to put them together in store. But they were a bit daggy, but now they actually look really gorgeous and yummy, like proper, proper macaroons. So I'm a bit sad these are going. I'm really looking forward to using this one in my bath as a bit of a last hurrah. I don't buy bubble baths all the time, but I'm kind of moving back towards them because as much as I like um, bath bombs, bubble baths during winter are great because you get all these bubbles and you can kind of like hoard them onto yourself <laughs> to keep warm. <laughs> And it just looks impressive. I love like coming into the bathroom. It's like what bubbles everywhere. That's the best. I love that. <laughs> okay, so moving on to body, we've got some products which are kind of not so surprising. So there's Go Faster Feet Foot Lotion, Twinkle Toes Foot Powder, and then we've got a ton of massage bars, like a ton. Now this isn't such a surprise because we've probably got too many massage bars at the moment. And what happens when you have too much choice? People don't choose any. That's kind of what happens in sales. So I think that Lush are getting rid of some of the massage bars so that people have less choice so that they actually pick one. <laughs> so uh, yeah, interesting. Dirty massage bar going. From dusk till dawn is going. Peace massage bar is going. That's a little bit sad because I don't know if you know, but the Peace massage bar is actually a replica like the same one that they use in the Lush spas. So in the Lush spas, you can choose for their um, synesthesia treatment. You can choose from a whole heap of bubble bars that are exactly like the Peace one, but different fragrances and with different words. So they might have like humor or, you know, um, energy, you know, on the on the massage bar. Um, so they match that Peace one that's in store. So that's a little bit sad. We're also going to be losing the Per Cup massage bar. Now, this is a little bit of a surprise because talking to the peeps in store, they say, at least in Australia, it sells fairly well. So I'm a bit surprised about that one. There's the Shades of Grey massage bar which again was a really interesting idea because um, like Earl Grey tea but it doesn't have a super strong perfume or fragrance so I'm not surprised about that one. Strawberry Fields Forever now this is the boomerang of our uh, discontinues because it just keeps getting discontinued and coming back over and over and over and over. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised to see Strawberry Fields actually come back from the dead again because let's face it it's the only pink massage bar um it smells really good why would you get rid of it i'm really surprised unless they've got something magical up their sleeve like you know a freaking unicorn massage bar i don't think strawberry fields is going to stay dead for very long maybe that's just wishful thinking <laughs> and then finally the yes 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 massage bar is also going right we're now to the second page darlings the second page <laughs> ridiculous it says the love and light cream in the 250 gram size only and softy foot lotion again saying 250 gram size only so i don't know i don't know um face 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 now we've got to go to this face um <laughs> so some of the really old school face masks are going so they are aisha love letters and sacred truth are all going this is a shock <gasps> but <laughs> it's out with the old and in with the new because hmm, did someone say jelly masks yes they did jelly masks so jelly masks we're going to be getting jelly masks very soon i think <gasps> Shh, don't tell anybody. um so very excited about that of course this one I actually ordered from the UK. You can order them already from the UK. And I don't think it's going to be very long at all before they come over here. So, yeah. Million Dollar Moisturizer is one that's a little bit underrated. I actually really like Million Dollar Moisturizer. Um, it's got a little bit of like luminescence in it, which is pretty cool. I rotate between my moisturizers. So although I have a Million Dollar Moisturizer, I haven't actually used it recently because I'm rotating between lots of them. Uh, I do that. So yeah, but I'm a little bit sad because it smells really good and it gives you that kind of like glow with the luminescence in it. So if you can find one, go and at least try it because it's pretty cool. We're also losing the five o'clock whistle shaving cream and the ambrosia shaving cream now with hair we've got a lot going again we've got the plump solid conditioner we've got the kinky solid hair treatment tangled solid hair treatment mr dandy's hair candy now this one i'm surprised about because it's actually a really awesome underrated hair styling product kind of like a cross between a wax and a cream. It's actually really cool. I use it with a bit of water. It's really good to kind of just, you know, slick your hair back a bit like a gel, kind of cross between a gel and a wax kind of thing. So um, if you haven't tried Mr. Dandy's hair candy, I would go try that because the smell is really good as well. Also, the I don't know if I'm going to say this right. The Veripin, Veripin, 
moustache wax, uh, which I have no call for. <laughs> And the Jersey Bounce shampoo. The Jersey Bounce shampoo, but it's saying size only, like 130 gram size only. So that's interesting. Whether it will just go in that, that like that size will go only. I don't know. I don't know. And then, oh, mouth, darling. <laughs> that's a bit weird, isn't it? Okay, so with the mouth, we're losing some lip balms. We're losing the Buttered Brazil's lip balm. We're losing the Passion Fruit lip balm. And then, now this I find really interesting. We're losing the lip tints. We're losing, it started with a kiss. We're losing Strawberry Bombshell and we're losing Sun Kissed. Now the reason why this is interesting is <gasps> I am secretly hoping that they're going to replace these with actual lipsticks. <gasps> like they have in the UK. They've got them in the Oxford Street store. I don't think they've rolled out to the UK stores yet though, so probably not, but you never know. Maybe in the long run, that's their, their long-term plan because the lip tints are similar, but just little mini versions of the lipsticks that they've been making. So you know how the Emotional Brilliance bottles have like lipstick creams? Well, a lot of those colors have been made into actual lipsticks that wind up. So what I'm hoping is that they're getting rid of the lip tints so that we'll get the lipsticks. So we're gonna be losing some toothy times. We're losing bling, we're losing oral pleasure, and we're losing sparkle. Uh, my local store, I don't think they even had sparkle anymore, it was gone. And then we're losing atomic tooth powder and ultra blast tooth powder. So they're all going as well. <gasps> So there were a few products that were on the list and then for some reason got taken off the list and have been continued as opposed to discontinued. Uh, one of them was the 9 to 5 cleanser, which I love. So I'm so relieved that didn't get discontinued. I use it every single day. Also, Trichomania um, Solid Shampoo, apparently, and Devil's Nightcap Soap. All of those were on the list and then got a reprieve. So that's really interesting. Not sure why, but um, I'm sure all of you out there who love those products are very happy to hear that. <laughs> I'm really disappointed some of my faves are going. So how about you? What are your faves that are going? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'd love to know what you're gonna miss and what you hope is coming. Yay! <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my discontinued video. Um, it's a big one this time, but hopefully that means we're going to get lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of new products. So that's exciting. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, that would be amazing. Uh, just hit subscribe. And thank you so much. Shout out to all of you who have been watching my videos, who subscribed, who've liked, who've commented. You guys are amazing. I love you. Thank you so much. All right, you guys have a fabulous week and I'll catch you again really soon. Okay. Bye.